Hey followers, welcome back to Ask a Recruiter at Staffing Kansas City. Hey, it's been a while and I realized that since our debut episode, I hadn't really answered a question. I've been introducing and kind of wrapping things up on these videos. So one of the things that I am kind of known for around the office is resume editing. So that can be anything from, you know, helping get things formatted, they get our watermark on them, getting them PDF'd, um, checking for errors, all that good stuff. So I want to talk to you today and answer a question that was submitted to us. Like what tips would you give for somebody writing a resume or rewriting a resume? So here we go. Number one, please, please, please proofread and proofread and proofread your resumes. Have somebody else look over it. Typos, spelling errors. You know what? Spell check, editor, whatever you want to call it now, Microsoft Word or whatever program you're using is fantastic but there are things that those programs do not catch, especially when you're using tables and other maybe not so traditional formatting or formats. If you're using all caps sometimes, title, subheadings, sometimes they will not catch your spelling errors. Don't know how many times I get resumes from people and manager is manger, just that's a great example, um, or other very similar, where it's just, if you miss a letter or misspell it, it's still another word, but it's not right. So check those resumes over for grammar, spelling, punctuation. Another thing, work history, most recent at the top, please. And we don't wanna see paragraph after paragraph of your duties. Highlight your achievements, your successes, briefly maybe bullet your duties. It's up to you on kind of how you specifically format that. Make it easy to read. And then also, do you need an objective? That depends. Are you applying as a general application? Are you applying to a specific position? If your objective says, I am a recent graphic design student seeking an opportunity in graphic design and you apply to my accounting or my administrative assistant role, not a good match. So pay attention. That again comes down to though being cognizant of what you're submitting to prospective companies and employers. Know what's on your resume. Include a cover letter if you want to explain gaps in employment or maybe why you're making your career shift or change if that's the case. But please look over that. Again, attention to detail. I cannot express that enough. So also, let's see here. Um, oh, length of resume, one to two pages. You know what? If you have a resume that is two pages long, I am a-okay with that. I don't need you to take off important information that just leaves it at one page, perfectly fine. Let's talk about colors, fonts, spacing. Um, you know, if you're trying to cram a bunch of stuff in there, again, we want it to be easy to read. So err on the side of caution. If your resume pushes to two pages because you need to add some spaces, go for it. Unless you are a graphic designer, me personally, I think a lot of recruiters would agree with this. We don't wanna see crazy fonts and colors and things like that. Keep it sleek and simple. You can, um, you know, you use a font. I still prefer Times New Roman. I'm kind of old school that way, but there are other appropriate fonts as well. Um, I see anything from 10 to 12, even sometimes 14 point font on resumes. Um, you know, make it yours. It doesn't have to be a template that you found online, but if you need to utilize that to create one or rewrite one, that's perfectly fine too. And, you know, feel free to ask. If you are coming in to interview with us, you've already submitted your application and you're working on a resume, and not quite sure, ask us, ask us our opinion. We'll help you out as much as we can, um, especially because we know, you know different things that our clients are looking for because we get to work directly with the hiring managers. So I hope this helps you out in writing your resume or rewriting what you may already have. But if you have more questions, we are here. Ask a recruiter at Staffing Kansas City. Call text or email. If you call, I'll take down your information to be used on a future episode, but you can always email ashley at staffingkc.com or text me 913-663-4095. So thank you for listening to me rant about resume tips, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Ask a Recruiter at Staffing Kansas City.